got woken up by the cops this morning saying they found her bag on the sidewalk outside some bar. Guilty. <laughs> Is there any chance that your daughter might just be still out partying? She's 12. Bring my little sister home, LT. Bring her home. Did you know a girl was taken from my front here last night? Is she your daughter? My friend's daughter. I hate to be the one to say it. That girl's dead. Yo, Bobby, better. You act like you're the only one who loved them. Like you're the only one who hurt. You don't own that. Do I know you? I'm someone whose 12-year-old cousin was abducted from the Bronx three days ago. I don't know how I can help. Just tell us everything that happened with your friend's daughter. I didn't find her. That's what happened. I have a witness. Where is she? We can't actually do this. This guy kidnaps another scared little girl. I'm gonna help him. You ready, soldier? Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for Among the Beasts arriving to theaters as well as digital and on demand on February 10th. I'm Kui P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And as you see on the screen, I'm so delighted to have uh, Lola, one of the stars of Among the Beasts, uh, Libe Barrer. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I didn't brutalize your name. That can occur sometimes. But um, please don't hurt me because you do a lot of that in this film. Um, tell me about getting this role of Lola uh, and working with Tori Kittles on this project. And uh, yeah, how did that all come together? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, where do I start? I guess I'll start with getting the part. Um, so I, I think I got this audition when I was like, I was really busy. I had a bunch of other stuff. And I remember like before I even read, I didn't even read the sides yet. And I just read the character description and I was like, they don't want me. And I, so I like told my reps, I was like, I think I was like, thank you. But like, I think that they're not, I'm not what they're looking for. So let's pass on this. And, um, they were like, so they quickly wrote back and like, no, the director is actually asking for, he wants to see, he's a fan of, he's been a fan of yours since Nikki Pete and he wants to see you. And I was like, okay, fine. And then I like read the sides and I was like, oh, this is actually good. And I read the script and I was like, oh, this is really good. Like I want to do this. And um, so I taped for it. And then I met with Matthew shortly afterwards and we had this like great session that we worked together. And I really liked the way that he worked. Uh, and he's very much an actor's director. And I, it was like, we played and it was fun. And I came in with like a slightly different character that I came in with. And I was like, I want to, I want to do this. And I want to work with this guy. And um yeah, and then I got the part and I worked with and working with Tori was so great. He's like he's so brilliant and he's like such a he's such a giving actor and is also just like a lovely human and it was a really wonderful experience. Oh, I love that. It's always cool when you can connect and uh, you know, get that give and take back. So you got this character of Lola. Um you were able to adapt it a little bit. What what did you like or connect most with this, you know, daughter of this criminal and you know, and all of that and just all the stakes that were, you know, raised with this character. Yeah, I mean, I think like what I loved about her was I, I mean, she was truly, she was someone who I think was thrown into a situation where, you know, I think she grew up as a sort of like princess, you know, she was street smart, but she was sort of like the princess of this world. And then she's thrown into the situation where she suddenly has to like be, you know, the sort of head of this like, for lack of a better word, like a, a huge business, <laughs> you know, I was going to say corporation, but I was like, it's not great. Something not, it's like anti-corporation. Um, but it, but it sort of is like, and it's sort of like, you know, and, and I think that she's someone who she's figuring it out as she goes and she, but she also, she does it with grace and confidence and, you know, and she, and is ultimately like successful. And I think that she, and I, and I, and I really admired that. And that was sort of what I like latched onto with her. Love that. Uh, was there a particular scene? Like, I, I, as an actor myself, I know, like, when I get the sides and everything and the script, and I'm like, okay, this is the scene that is really going to nail this character. Was there a particular moment in the project that you really looked forward to when it came to that shoot date? Yeah, there were a couple of them. There's um, the one was like the um, the laundromat scene was one because I think that it's sort of like 
the scene where I chase this guy or, you know, the, or that whole sequence where I chase him and I chase him to the laundromat because I think that that's, that's her like fighting with everything. You know, I think that, that sort of epitomizes Lola and that like she, she fights with everything she has and she's figuring it out along the way, you know? And I think that it's very like, you know, it's, it's an action sequence in the most human way you know in the most human form in that like it's not you know there's not like guns she doesn't suddenly know how to like use nunchucks or whatever <laughs> like she's fighting with what she has and to the best of her ability and she's figuring it out and i think that that sort of really epitomizes her and um yeah and then there was a diner scene with tori that wound up being different in the movie than what we shot but um but yeah there was i think thought that was like a real moment of human connection there that i really loved I feel that. And I love just, uh, as a father, I'm an empath. And and as actors, right? We feel everything, right? So yeah. this really connected with me and what what ends I would, uh, there's no ends I wouldn't go to to protect my daughter or family member or anything like that. Um, what do you hope people connect with, with Among the Beasts uh, in its messaging the most? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I do think that, you know, I think that it is ultimately like a story about family. And I think that that is, and like, you know, fighting for your tribe and doing what you can for your people. And like, um, and yeah, and I think that that, yeah, I think that that's kind of, that's kind of it for me. I love that. Awesome. Uh, AJ, uh, your boyfriend, very good looking brother must, I, I must add. Uh, yeah. How is it like working with him and getting those connections uh, on set? It was really fun. Yeah, he was like a very, he was like down for anything. And we were always like, Matthew would always like throw things at us to and be like, can you do this thing? And, or, you know, like, what if you guys like tried this little ad libby thing here? And then, you know, we were constantly, things were constantly like evolving and changing on set. Like Matthew would see something that inspired him and was like, okay, let's lean into this moment. And like things very much like, I think that it's very, what we what the movie that you see is very different than what was on the page initially and um and i think that like sharon has always brought something that was like you know he, he always brought more that like was that sort of fuel for you know imagination to like allow the part and the, you know the the scenes to expand which was cool Awesome. Well, I really picked up on uh, both of you guys uh, watching the film. Uh, I think like y'all are, you see, when you see like up and coming talent, uh, you, you've been in the game a little bit, but still, you know, it's like, man, I can't wait to see more work uh, and mm -hmm. just see your star yeah. rise and uh, just a phenomenal job. And we're going to chat in a minute, y'all. I'm going to have another interview on the channel because Libe, Libe, I'm sorry if I'm brutalizing it, Libe is blowing up. She's got Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Uh, check out that interview right after that. But everybody, check out Among the Beasts in theaters as well as digital and on demand on February 10th, y'all. Libe Rivera, y'all. Your boy Kui P knows the world. <laughs>